All right. Recording engaged. Audio levels look appropriate. Yep. Uh, sure. Ah! <laughs> How's that? That was excellent. Intro Good. time. Hey, I think that that man. wasn't an intro. That was an intro to me. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Crash Landing. It's back right on the ASOS, and we're just fooling around, being silly, making things. Yeah, and that, I made this thing, and Packrat says, "What in the world is that?" that looks it looks familiar. familiar, but I don't remember which familiar it is. F familiar yet different? That, well, um, I've that, seen that's the extra pack. We've been playing with an, the, with um, the Ender IO mod for a while. Yeah. And so we got a couple things to show. Mm -hmm. But I but, wanted to see that thing first. Oop, I fell in a hole. All right, you ready for this? Okay, what's that? How awesome is that? Travel right, that anchor. Doesn't, that doesn't do anything. Hang on. Let's say we want to travel like back and forth from this elevator repeatedly or often. Now, if you stand on the travel anchor and look over here, do you see another one? That I do. Jump. Boom. Teleport. Nice. How awesome is that? So you just That's look at where cool. you want to go, you jump, and, and there you are. So we can put these all over the base, wherever you want to go. Be like, oh, I want to go to that one. I want to go to that one over there. Where'd it go? <laughs> oh, I don't see that one from here. Can you see it? See which one? Oh, maybe I'm not on it. Yeah, it, it knocks you off of that one. Oh, okay, I think because you're it's, jumping there and, there's a, and there's no head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll have to put them around. But anyway, so that's travel anchors. And so they're, they're that's not neat. too bad to make. They take uh, pulsating crystals, which take diamonds, which take these pulsating iron things, which take an alloy smelter. Oh, hey, we made an alloy smelter. Oh, yeah. We, remember we, that? Yeah. And, and uh, other thi another thing. We, yeah. we, made, we made things. Those break really fast. Over here, we got uh, the alloy smelter, which is currently running, making electrical steel, evidently. Yeah, I'm making steel. Uh, cool. And we have a sag mill. And I think that's all that we really made as far as machines. Well, outside yeah. of the obvious. So this guy is like the furnace, but it can also do alloys, which obviously it's doing right now. Yeah, it makes quite a few different alloys. Uh, it can make, um, if we look over here, we, it can also make energetic alloy, it can make pulsating iron, and uh, the energetic alloy you can use to make, uh, let's see, you use that to energy. make here it is. Yep. vibrant alloy. And these, these are, these are all like ender, various... ender IO things. Yep. you got to have new, new and exciting things to make new and exciting stuff. So Every mod needs to have its own version of iron. It, it's kind of a furnace and kind of a, uh, a pulverizer, but they do new new things. They can alloy. They can do other dealy bobs. Oh, oh, I blew something up. Did? Oh, I re yeah, I, I replaced it. You already made a new one? I did. Where'd it go? I did it last night. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's, in, it's just here. in here? Yeah, yeah, we haven't put it back together yet. Assembly but. controllers don't like more than 10 bars of pressure. But, uh, five bars, I think. I oh, think it's only five? Well, the low pressure is five bars, right? Well, whatever it was, it didn't. Well, I don't know. We'll have to look. But anyway, yeah, we it, were it running did, lines. It did not like it. So, yeah, with the increased pressure over here, it's it said kaboom, and it was... Yep. Hilarious, but very, very costly. The, the, <laughs> the good news is it only blew up that block. It was here to cap that off, and, and that's it. it. just... Yeah, I only set it down just to have a... I Just to put it down and block this off while I was working on this thing over here, the aerial interface, because I was going to put it over there, and I was like, well, I just want to run the line along over here, so I just capped yep. off the line there, and k kaboom. <laughs> what oh, oh. a I don't think I mentioned this in the last episode, but um, I was hoping to use this rednet cable to supply a, a level 12 to this instead of the the cheap lever and redstone thing. Because this works. Level 12, power 12, that works perfectly fine. Uh, it didn't work. But the, the weird thing is it doesn't just um, overpressure this. It's just no pressure goes through it. So as you... What is going on up there? That's what we need to find out. What the... <laughs> I can't even talk. Oh, I see what it is already. There's an ender creeper on top of a ghast. Uh-huh. And I have no idea why, but that's making him teleport all over the place. That was different. Or something. 
I knew there was an Ender Keeper on top of a gas station. I just didn't understand why that was doing that. Yeah, me neither. I don't know. Are you shooting the, the creeper, or the, the ghast, or the creeper? The ghast. I'm just, I can't hit him from here. That's the one nice thing about that needle gun is it does not. Uh, drop. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't drop from gravity. Spiders. Yeah, these punji sticks here don't seem to work very well. The spiders just kind of Stop avoid them. Dodging. Stop dodging. Finally! Oh, I so want to just give you a little tap, help you out there. <laughs> oh, there he went. Oh, oh yeah. here he comes. Oh, you made him mad. Somebody I did, did not intend to make him mad. Why is He's he mad? He's right underneath of you. Oh, I see him. All right, all right. Is it, it's day? How many, how many bad things are out here? Is it day? It's almost day. I'm thirsty too, man. Yeah. Okay, that guy's dead. Okay, all right, good good thing. All right, oof. I don't know if I should have done that, though. Oh, yeah. You, ah, get in. How did you get up there? Why? Why? Oh, I hit him. But I still don't know how he climbed over it. But that's what it. I'm wondering. Okay, I need. I, I was kind of worried there because I need to go get, get water. Which, by the way, yeah, that's the next thing that we're working on again. Well, that I've been working on this whole time. Huh. The reason I yeah, wanted to get the thing. ender eye to go. Uh, I need you to place something before I can okay. do anything else. What, what do I need to place? Oh, the other thing. Do you want to put them here? Yeah, I'm thinking about putting about having them face each other like uh, and put the, the thing right here in between them. All right, I wanted to try something. I didn't get to this yet. Let me, let me try a thing. Uh, okay, so we're doing this aerial interface deal, and I just want to try it with a hopper for a minute. Okay. Uh, okay, so... Well, the different sides do different things, uh -huh. right? So if I put a hopper on this side, whoops. Oh, and they're from Pneumaticraft, so then you need air. Uh-huh. I put if I put a hopper on this side and I drop in my pizza. Actually, let me do something unique. My uh, jeweled apples. It should pop right in back into my inventory, but I'm trying to figure out which row. Uh, I think it just fills that in wherever it can. Didn't work. Did. Why did that not work at all? Um, it didn't give it to me. Server, I am on the server. We had this working at once, or yeah. well, sort of. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so these are showing up in my hot bar. Yeah, if you're if there's any room in your hot bar, I'll go there first. I have no idea why it didn't work the first time, but anyway, um, because what I wanted like to you. see is does it matter which side? Because I know the bottom is. For I don't your think armor. it does. The bottom is for your armor, and the top is for... The, the inside of it, yeah. The, it yeah, the for inside pumping. is for upgrades. Like it. Yeah, no, okay. So if you have room on your hotbar, okay. I thought the four sides were maybe the four rows of your inventory. Plus okay, the bar. but, but anyways, not. we're talking about so, this. We're not saying what we're actually going to be doing with it. Correct. We should probably tell people what we're going to do. Okay, now, you guys have seen a lot of people do the exact same thing. Um, well, now, I don't know about a lot of people, but I'm sure quite a few people have done something similar with this. What they'll do is they'll set this up, and they'll have it constantly keep their their uh, camel pack full on their back. I... No, no, not there. Not there, not here. here. But have it face yeah, it right here. Yeah, like it is who, whoever places it. Looks like. Yeah, put it right, so, right where I'm standing. Okay. Right over here? Yeah, and have it face that way, so the arrow's pointing over there, because it look kind of cool. Can't. Arrow! Can't. Stupid arrow! Arrow only goes one way. That's why I thought maybe the different four different sides were different places in your inventory, because of the arrow. But Dang. They're not. That's okay. Anyway. But what we're going to yeah, do... Yeah, I've only seen one person do this, and it was genius. Yeah, it was genius. <laughs> uh, what, what he did is he had it refill the camel pack on... Okay, maybe one person, but that's one person who's going to get copied by everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So, um, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna be using cold water to re to keep us filled. At least oh, that's look, my water. plan. Yeah. And what I got going on right here, we we like I said, we've been working on the Ender IO thing up there, and I've been trying to get it to work down here. Uh, by the way, Ender IO seems to have some interesting problems. Um, 
we've been messing around with it over here, and we just replaced all of our piping over here, and we discovered one very interesting uh, thing, well, two things that are missing. The vacuum mode and the dense mode that you get off of the thermal expansion pipes, yep. which is kind of problematic because it means, like, if I want to make sure that it goes to all of these spots first before it goes to that trash can, i got to make sure that trash can's at the end. And if I want to make sure that... Uh, it fills up the planter before it fills up a barrel, then I gotta make absolutely certain that it is, that that planter is first. By the way, currently, I don't think it is, so that could be interesting. Uh, for, uh, fortunately, a lot of these things are already full, so it's not that big of a deal, but kind of confusing. Why is it? That's interesting. So that's the planter. That guy oh. should be in uh, well, insertion. I, right. I forgot to give Come one on. of these things power. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's sticky mode, there's whitelist, metadata, different channels. But, I, I, yeah, I don't see any way to do dense mode or, or yeah. vacuum we, we, mode or whatever. Looked around, Maybe there's could, a way, we can, we but can't figure out can't, I don't so. see it. Well, right now we got the fluids going around, and uh, right now it's a... I, I'm also trying to figure out the whole the whole in-out thing of the fluid conduits. Um, I'm trying to get it to fill up this... It's got in-out here. But it's not taking out, which is kind of strange because I want it to hmm. come out of here, so that it will when it needs it other places, it'll pull from from here, and yep. go to all of those. But it's not because we can see it's only getting it from the fluid right. transposer. Right we can see so it, interesting. It's literally blinking right now. So <laughs> yeah, we could make a big blinking neon sign with this, couldn't we? We could. What well, we could. I mean, honestly, what we could do is I could just take the. We could just set up the whole drum thing we had before, and I could put the drum back on top. Yeah, we'll and have figure it out. That's fine. So we'll just, what? What? That's beside, that's neither here nor there. What we're doing yeah, what do we, down no, here? You had a thing down here. What, what it is okay. So water is coming back here. The water is filling up, and the and there's there's the power, and there's the water line together, which is always just kind of cool. Um, oh, another. I'll get, get to that in a minute. I was, I was going to say another problem with Ender IO, but. But, yeah, anyways, uh, glacial precipitator, when it gets the water, slowly, at the moment, it takes it makes snowballs. The snowballs are fed down into the cyclic assembler. The cyclic assembler, as it gets the water, slowly, <laughs> which will fix, will fix this. I mean, I could just do what I just said, and it'll fix it. But whenever, it's almost, it's almost full right now, actually. Every single time that it fills up, it's going to make a cold water bottle. And it's going to send it over to this here barrel. When that barrel's full, it won't make any more, which will be fine. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the Machine Inventory Manager from Steve's Factory Manager. The Steve's Factory Manager mod, we figured out a way of making it so that um, we can tell it to just always make sure there is one cold water bottle in our inventory at all times. All right, good. So, so this is really scary, but I got this. You, just, you put this here, and then you put this here. And you drag some things around. But they won't drag. Why won't they drag? Yeah, okay. Uh, you gotta take it from the upper left-hand corner. Yeah. Oh, this. That, that. Okay. Yeah. And then you drag that, and you drag some more things, and you configure all these things. Every video I see, they're like, "This looks scary, but it's really not that hard." Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. You just, you just, it, it's just. It's not hard. It's different. It, it is takes very, forever to figure out like different. Wh what pieces do you need in which order with which setup and what whitelist and blacklist. And, well, ah. yeah, but once you get used to it, it's pretty. Once you get used to it, it, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, it's the same way, the way with a lot of mods. So all right, I yeah, believe we'll, it. We'll, we'll, we'll get, get that figured out. So I might I'm sure we can. Do these it. Oh yeah, well, there's our barrel have. from upstairs. So might as well just toss those. Fill in them there. on up, huh? There we go. Might as well. Looks like I'm okay. about out of water. I'm gonna grab from the old system here before we. Well, you know what? I don't know. We don't need to tear this down. This this can keep doing its thing. Yeah, he really likes that old system. We can I, leave. We can leave it. It's nostalgia, up. man. I mean, that's like that's like. Uh, cool. we'll, we'll see if he if he continues <laughs> to use that one when he has cold water in his inventory at all times, which will be interesting. Okay, but so we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this all set up, and he's gonna do his thing with what. What were you gonna be working on? Um. Well, I made these, and that was exciting, so we started recording. <laughs> but I, I did have another idea to work on, so maybe, maybe I'll help you, or maybe we'll we'll do something else. Whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out we'll the do programming some and, and figure some stuff, and then and then we'll be back. Yeah, we'll show you cool. that in a minute. Okay, see you in a minute. Oh, bars.
And you should now be able to put a cold water bottle in my inventory. So do that. Hey. Hey. No one to do. All right, so you got it hooked to the barrel. And this guy is outputting into the barrel, of course. And that guy's doing his deal. Did you get it? No, I just grabbed them because I'm thirsty. Because you're. <laughs> so. All right, trigger. One second on interval. Yes. Maybe, Condition. Maybe things I'll do that, but I don't with, with actually now. wearing a diamond chest plate now, it should be okay. Oh yeah, I was gonna turn in this, so I can do that on our next little recording. How much did we record? We recorded fifteen minutes. I think I just destroyed the camel pack again. I put an extra one in inside here so that we could have an extra one in here and it did a thing and now they're gone. Well, I I, why did so you do that? I just wanted to leave an extra one in there for you. Hmm. Okay. Well. Sorry. Yep. I That's I tried fine. I tried to be nice and I love how this leadstone flux capacitor still is at like 99% or something. Mm-hmm. Yep, all right. It's gone. We'll make it is more. gone. They're cheap. It's not like I can't get bottles. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> we will have, so you, you can make it public, which we have now protected. You actually put items in here as a password. Only NSOs can may change this, this block settings. Aw, can you break it? Yep. Well, there you go. Now, now you can put it down and you can change the settings. <laughs> um, I don't have it. Oh, you broke it with a hand, which apparently breaks it completely. Great. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> It broke awfully quick, that's for sure. Who knew? Yeah, it did. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, that must be the way it actually breaks. Since it's breaking that quickly with a hand, it should be, that must be intended. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No, that's a bad thing. Okay, so what I did, don't, don't do that. Yep. Bad idea. Okay. And, and we're back. We're back. We, Yay. we got it to work. It, it took a little bit of... Thunking because I'm still new to Steve. Well, we're both still new to, to Steve's factory manager. Uh, the main thing that we had problems with was the input versus the output to, to bring out which is which. But here's the basic gist of it. Uh, let's go ahead and demonstrate. Ready? Get, okay, get out your yes. water. Ready? And three, two, one. <laughs> and we got another one. Toss the bear. Toss and the bottle. Because we get a lot of bottles. Okay, yeah, so gonna... here... You have unlimited bottles now, that's for sure. Yeah, this so, is pretty cool, yeah. So here's the general gist of how it works. And we go into the condition, and the condition is checking to see if the inventory, which on this particular one is me, um, in the aerial interface, and target doesn't matter, has a cold water bottle. If it, has, if it does not have a cold water bottle, which is the false condition, then you pull from the, the barrel, you pull from the barrel a cold water bottle, down here, whitelist, blah, blah, blah. And the output goes to, well, to me. Right there. And same thing for an we did the, it's, it's the exact same thing. And you just, uh, uh, the only thing that you want to make sure that you, that you do if you try to set this up, you want to go here where it says cold water bottle, and you want to right click on that sucker and specify one. Because <laughs> otherwise, it can fill your entire inventory instantaneously. Yep. With cold water. Yep. And as soon you could drink it all, yeah, but as soon as you drink that last one, your entire inventory will fill back up with cold water. Which yep. 
Is, Specifying one is a good idea. Yeah, it, it's, trust a, us. it's a good, trust it's us a good idea. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> idea. Now we are getting tons and tons of bottles because um, currently this is using a cyclic assembler. A cyclic assembler does not require if if the the recipe uses something that uses water in it, and this one uses a water bottle. As far as it's concerned, a water bottle is the same as water, so yep. it will make a cold water bottle. But it didn't use a bottle to make it, so we're just getting bottles on bottles on bottles on bottles. Yeah, we'll have plenty of bottles from now on. Which is not the only mod to do that. <laughs> nope. PB&J nope. sandwiches, hint, hint, right? And, uh, yeah, yep. Okay, and you were messing around with your little uh, jumper thingies. Oh, yeah, I did a thing, or a couple things. This one's not so you over you can't right click on it, right? It just says you're not a, you're not allowed to mess with this. Only a Nussles can change this block settings. All right. Well, you have to make your own then, or or take a look at my video. Oh, and uh, don't break these with an open hand <laughs> because it's you know it's like breaking stone or whatever with an open hand. It just disappears. So anyway, these are set to public right now. You can also make it protected where you actually put a password in here like water bucket water bucket glass bottle whatever uh or private so only only the person no don't do it <laughs> only the person who placed it can do it so anyway i got a couple out a couple of them around the base now there's one over here for the uh bed slash i don't know high oven area there's one up there for the food area there's one way up here on top because this is kind of halfway between, and you can go all the way up top, but I couldn't get it to go with just one. Yeah, there seems to be an actual um, distance that you can travel in one shot, and I thought it would be only um, yep. I thought it might only be horizontal distance. It is not. It is horizontal yeah. and vertical distance that it can go for a limit. That's all right. That's, That's cool. It works. Two two quick hops, and you're up there. Okay. Um, I also did fix the whole thing up here with the water i just started to have it send straight to the barrel and oh. here's the thing though um if we look here this is says that it has two thousand millibuckets of fluid witch water right now which doesn't make sense because a barrel only holds one one it, it's supposed to hold one and it was holding two and and now it's making witch water but if you look in the top the doesn't which, look like there's any water in there. Which I so, have a feeling is a is a visual glitch to the fact that it's currently got 2.2 buckets of wa uh, fluid witch water. But the in next it. time it comes through, it, you will actually see the water. Oh no, it's still making. It, like I think it'll be, you can yeah. see the water come through, but when, yeah, uh, something's goofy. Yeah, so it's like instantaneously filling the sucker, and it's not a good thing. Yeah, it's something's a, a little bit. So what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to... I think this is Ender I.O. is just kind of overfilling this thing whenever it fills it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, pro I'm probably going to just set this up to be a, uh, a, a simple fluid transposer connected up to one of those little simple um, tanks on top of it, the, the little eight bucket tanks, and just yeah. let it let that fill and then let the fluid transposer take it out of there because... The, yeah, because, the, well... This, it's it just, it's just blinking like crazy because every single time it's done, it's fills that thing up way too much. That's where all the water was going. Yeah, absolutely. It's going and in a barrel. This is all full. This is not going anywhere. It's but... going in a barrel and it's disappearing, which is not yeah. good. So, Bad, bad yeah, things yeah, happen. Yeah, like so said, anyway, Ender IO yeah. conduit into barrel seems to be a bit buggy right now. Okay, so, so let's go take a nap and we'll go take a look at the little drone guys over there. Oh, I should Is it wrong to want to go back here just so I can use a travel anchor? <laughs> okay, here, here we go. Travel anchor, boom. Um, travel anchor. There we go. Oh, did you set one up over here? Why did I put it in the corner? I need to put it more in the middle. Anyway, we'll move it. Yeah, I put one over on the on the wall there. It should be more by the smeltery problem. I, I told him we should probably just set up a bedroom down below somewhere that that you can only get there by by one, way of one of those things. Yeah, it's funny. I think that would be funny. All right, what are we doing now? Okay, drone time. Drone time. Drone time. Okay, here we go. Boop. So the the drones are acting. <sighs> Like drones, like the yeah. derps they are. Yeah, we'll go with that. Get out of here. <laughs> are they doing it? They're doing it again. They're stuck. They're stuck. Okay, they're they're bugged. I don't know what they think they're doing, but they're not doing anything. Are they both there? 
Hold on, let me see if they're both there. Let's go see. It's like uh, only one's here right now, maybe. Yeah, but they, they get really tightly compacted. Yeah. That it might, but I he actually says one. he's charging now. The last time we were here, they were both on it, and they said they were discharging because these little particles were going from the drone inventory back into the system, which doesn't make any sense because the drones only hold 10 PS uh, bars, and this is up around 15. Yeah, it was showing this uh, flowing backwards. Th this was going that way, which didn't yeah. make any sense at all. Um, he's charging an awful lot. Yeah, I know. They just, like, s sit up there and charge forever. And, oh, uh -huh. here, here's the other guy. Yeah, the other guy is just out here hanging out, doing nothing. Like, so, I'm on my coffee break. Sorry. Ain't gonna happen. Oh, I didn't see him. Yeah, he's he's hiding over here in the corner. Yeah, the, I think the drones have an actual distance that they work, and this must be beyond it, because, uh... Yep. Yeah, he, he, he's not doing jack squat. Let's see, I bet you he's empty too, right? Oh yeah, by the way, you can just break him with a... You can kill them to break them, and then you can pick them up. Uh, so he's full. He's no, 8.3 bars! Yeah, he's got pressure, he's got a thing, he's supposed to go back. I actually gave him a go-to command. I said, when you're full, go to an area over by that charging station. Uh, but he's... What are you doing?! He, I don't know. He, we must be out of range. That's all I can figure out. Is he can't figure out how to get from there over to here. I don't know why he can't figure that out, but apparently he can't. Ooh, Ender Seeds. <sighs> and for anyone who's wondering, this is all chunk loaded. Yep. The whole thing here is loaded in one ginormous chunk loader. Yep. Made a chunk loader. Loaded it all up, set it for like five chunks or something, which is and way bigger than this area. Also note, that's the guy that picks up stuff over there. That's the picky uppy guy. That that one over there, the one that's charging, that's the one that should not ever stop going because as soon as he's done charging, he should be out here digging more stuff. Yep. He he, as, he is not digging. Uh, yeah, exactly. As soon as he just got enough charge, he should just come right out here and start doing Oh, I got a drink. And he's not. Drink up. You don't forget that. One. And so, so if I put the drone down over here, what are you gonna do, buddy? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh well, he's waiting for stuff to pick up now. Okay, so let's give him a stack because he can only hold oh, one that's, stack. You can't see that. Oh right, it's gotta be down, down a level. Oh well, he just <laughs> he just took the one. <laughs> Instead of grabbing the stack, he took the first one that fell and wandered yep. off. Yep. Of and he's gone. Because there you go. Drones are, you know, drones are super cool. I think they're really neat. It's just programming them and getting them to behave well is um, a bit of a challenge. Yeah. That, that's yeah. a word for it. That, there you go. That is a word for it. Hey, I was going to go craft uh, that kinetic generator. Oh, yeah. Uh, quest thing. The quest. So let me go do that. we got a crafting station here, I'm sure. Uh, okay, so for quest, let's get that and uh, put that back on. And yeah, this is under more, under more pressure. We have the kinetic compressor, under which pressure. will yeah every single time. Yes, under more pressure, kinetic compressor, gonna get great things. Let me. Oh, no. I think I have all the pieces, and this is not easy to make. So yeah, few, uh, hardened glass takes in an, an induction smelter or the new Ender IO thing for the. Fuse glass. Uh, that's easy. And then the LX300 takes flux to electrum plus a 100 plus some extra circuit. Yeah, whatever. It, yeah, you know, it's not a fun one to make. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Yep. Okay, you got it? Um, I may be missing a piece, or it just doesn't want to, Oh, it doesn't want to shift click because that doesn't stack. There we go. And kinetic compressor. Oh, you're not going to be happy. I knew it. I knew, oh wait, hold on. Advanced pressure tube is 100 percent, so that's a good. Oh, detect. we did that. Good. And we made monitoring oh, well, and regulating. Oh, yes, well, we made good. the other things. Claim reward. Claim reward, which gives us redstone energy cell frames, which are empty, but we can fill those up. So. Yeah, and I, I already made one for up here because I wanted to be able to do the Ender I/O thing over here. So, yep. yeah, they're you not that difficult. Fluid transposer with some melted up redstone. So, yeah, which we're still getting a little bit low on, but you know. 
Well, that comes from the dust, which is why I wanted to collect all the dust from these drones, which is not... Yeah. I have a transmitter hey, over there when I can. Drone it's, guy. it's Why are you sitting here doing nothing? Go, go get some dust. What's he doing there? Bring it to us. Come on, drone. Yeah. Oh, well, he's not going to get any dust because the other guy's not working. Um, okay, that's possible. He may be just hanging out because the other guy is not doing anything, so he's just going to sit there and say, ah, I'm waiting for something to pick up. Yep. Yeah, they're they're and we've been online this whole time. We set them up, we had them running. Um, I thought they were just derping up when you were offline or maybe when a chunk unloaded, but no, no. Yeah, we got all we, the chunks we just loaded. went out and checked on them about 10, 15 minutes before we started to show you guys. Poor and drums. They, they, they're already broken again. Poor drums. Well, that's a thing. All right. But that's it for right now, guys. we got to get going for us, some other stuff. Um, next time, I'm hoping we can start to go to the city and get some big reactor stuff, because we need we oh, yes. would like to get big reactors going on. More here. power! Yeah. <laughs> Teleport action. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I love these things. They're so cool. I, I can tell. All right. That's it for today. Yep, Thanks for it. watching. Hope, Hope you, you guys enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. You guys have a good one. Bye, pack. Bye-bye! Here, have, have a bottle. A bottle, yay! <laughs>